Hi, and uh, I'll, I'll love to welcome you to the uh, Black uh, Blockchain uh, Summit, officially and in person. Um, uh, this is one of the conferences that we are trying to like really solve the problems that are faced by the people of color or the people that are marginalized or the minority group. So I want uh, you your view on on what you are, I mean on what we are doing. What do you think? Is it something that is really 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 are we really touching uh, the base of the problem here during the summit? And also maybe you start off by like introducing yourself as okay. what you do, and then you can you know touch that part of the. Um, do you want me to take the mic? Yes, I want you to do that. But that okay, so, so my name's Gabriel Abad. I come from the island of Barbados, a beautiful little Caribbean island where the people are amazing. Um, we have around 97 to 98% of a black population. Um, so I'm quite aware of the situation around discrimination and um, upward mobility not being there for people of color. Um, and I believe that what's really impressive about the blockchain field is that uh, there are no barriers to entry. Um, it doesn't discriminate, and uh, it's open to all. So people of color um, or, or not can all, um, all have the same standards and opportunities, uh, which is currently not the way that this current world and current economic structure um, operates. So it kind of flips the script into one where it empowers communities. And uh, what we're looking at here through the Black Blockchain Summit is exactly that, the empowerment of a community that has otherwise historically been oppressed and now you guys can utilize the technology uh, to really uh, make a difference, uh, both in developing nations and across in Africa, um, for the African American community here in America and beyond. And I think that's, that's the key takeaway here, is that communities can come together and use this transfer of value um, through a decentralized format to really empower themselves. And that's pretty impressive and, and pretty cool. Um, um, uh, do you think uh, this summit in particular uh, has been able to address the real issue of, of the, the, the real problem that we, we are facing? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, if you go back to your home nations, of, of, of your home territory of Africa, um, they've never really had peace there. And what I've seen here from the African ambassador is that uh, the key takeaway is that this technology can be used to unify the African nations um, from as novel of a concept as a one African currency. Um, so I've seen, I've seen some very interesting conversations and collaborative efforts start here at the conference. And this is the first and only black blockchain summit in the world. So it's the first to bring together people in this way um, to focus on problems that are affecting the particular community. Uh, uh, people tend to like uh, get excited in the, in the moment like uh, we'll come up with very amazing uh, decisions during a certain point in time, but then after the conference or after the event, we forget about what we discussed and about uh, the visions that we have, uh, we had during the, the, the summits and during the conferences. What do you think uh, as the Black uh, Blockchain uh, Summit we should do in order for, uh, for us not to be one of the people that only talk and get excited in the moment and never follow up what we're doing? Consistency is key, yeah. um, defining the agenda and defining a roadmap, um, ensuring that you are uh, always following up, ensuring that this becomes a yearly conference. Um, I've seen these things get started and everyone gets excited and yeah. all joyful and there's initial sparks, but then it dies off because there's no action behind those words. So there needs to be um, an action team defined and rather than being a think tank, you need to form a do tank and that do tank needs to actually do. Yeah. Um, and then someone needs to build that fire. And that someone might be you, and that someone might be someone on the other end of that camera. But that someone needs to build the fire because then they will come. But generally, humans wait around for others to do the work. Yeah. So in this group, I hope there's a couple of people that have the spark of God within them that wish to see action um, uh, be put forth and actually do something about this. So all I can really say is that um, consistency in the delivery of your message, ensuring that uh, the summit um, is not a one-off thing, ensuring that you guys put down clear objectives and goals, and uh, you're committed, the commitment aligns with those objectives and goals, and ensuring that there is the right person that drives action behind that commitment. And awesome. hopefully that person exists, yeah. or persons. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Like my last question to you is what you do.
I mean, um, what is exactly that you do and uh, how do you see what you do impacting the communities, uh, the global communities, not only the United States or the ba 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 Barbados. Barbados. No, you got that wrong. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not supposed to get that one wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I, I, with a couple of friends, yeah. I founded a company called bit.com, B-I-T-T, -T, okay. and bit focuses on the monetary authorities worldwide and how they issue their dollar in the form of cash, yeah. the physical paper cash. Yeah. And we have taken that up as our competition. So we help central banks and monetary authorities move from printing physical paper money to moving towards printing electronic digital dollars. And in doing so, that electronic digital dollars following blockchain-based principles allows an open, all-inclusive system for local entrepreneurs, local uh, merchants, local developers, local participants to start becoming part of a payment system that was otherwise closed off and not um, accessible. So that's, that was, um, and that's one of the companies that I helped founded along with a mutual fund and a few other cool things in the industry. I've been around for a while. Um, right now, uh, my work, uh, a big part of my work involves community and building communities and ensuring that the underdog is represented. Um, which is why I'm here at this very conference. Um, it's, it's, um, I think it's critical in this space because these communities are all working on a common goal. Yeah. We're all working on the same standard and it's called Bitcoin's blockchain. Yeah. And um, there are other altcoins out there and um, ultimately what's important is that we keep applying our skill sets behind these innovations so that we all rise together. Thank you very much for the for the great work that you are doing, and uh, we hope to see more of your work, uh, and we hope to also meet you in the next uh, coming summit, uh, the next Black uh, Blockchain Summit. I'll be there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah.